Hi, my name is Keisha Marie, and I'm your number one go-to colon hydrotherapist. I've been a colon hydrotherapist for about 14 years now. So I got my start into colon hydrotherapy because I had colon issues. I only went to the bathroom every week, once every week, every seven days. I ate breakfast, I ate lunch, I ate dinner, and I ate snacks in between. Lots and lots of sugars as well. So as we go on, I want to do a demonstration about your colon health. When does digestion begin? And talk about this bowel transit time. Why did it take me seven days to use the bathroom? Today I would like to demonstrate what is our colon. Our colon is a canister and it's right here. Do you know that our colon is just as long as we are tall? The width of our colon is the size of our wrist. So my colon is about this wide and this long. Okay, so I want to do a demonstration right now of what happens when we begin to chew and eat our food. So, the typical American diet, we eat breakfast, we eat lunch, and we eat dinner. And sometime after we eat all of that throughout the day, we still don't have a bowel movement. Then, the next morning we get up and we do it all again. With the holidays coming around and Memorial Day right around the corner, why not demonstrate the American hot dog. So here we go. Digestion actually begins when we see the food. We see it, it looks appetizing. And so our mouths begin to salivate. And so this is what happens. This is a stocking and it represents our colon. So here we go. I'm gonna use my fingers and this is my mouth and I am chewing down on this delicious hot dog. And it's so good, I'm not really chewing. 26 times that I'm supposed to to get proper digestion from every bite oh my gosh it's so good it has ketchup and mustard sauerkraut and it is of course all beef hot dog yep and then we have a bun oh my goodness I'm I'm getting full but I just got to finish this whole thing oh, I'm just gonna gulp this down oh my goodness oh. Woo! so my colon is about that wide. Oh man, that was so good. I need something to wash it down. So I'm gonna get some water. That's been good. I could have got some soda. <laughs> so here we go. Oh wow. Oh, look, at, look at my stomach. And so we wonder why we have gas, right? So now, I've chewed my food, I've swallowed it, it's gone down the esophagus, and now it's in the stomach, and it's producing hydraulic acids to break down the food. But the acids is kind of getting washed out because I just put all that drink on top of it. So it kind of uh, weakens the hydraulic acids in my stomach to be able to digest the food. And look at that, oh my goodness. It literally expanded my colon. Right? So it's full of gas and indigestion and all of that stuff. So I wonder how long that's going to sit before I actually can eliminate and have a bowel movement. Oh boy, I'm so full after that. I've eaten a great American hot dog and I am full. And I'm actually getting a little sleepy too. So now I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> no exercise or anything. I'm just going to go lay down. I'm just too tired. So now it's morning time and I'm gonna do it all over again. I'm gonna have me some breakfast. I'm gonna have lunch and I'm gonna have dinner. And you know what? I'm really getting tired and my stomach is so bloated. I still haven't gone to the bathroom. I think I got gas. Ugh. And I think it's all of that food that just needs to come out but hasn't. Our digestive system starts to work in the mornings between six and eight. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Uh, oh my God. It smells so bad. Oh. Oh. 